Welcome to the Core Getting Started collection. In this video, you'll learn the basics of simulating behavior in Core. To completely define a system, one must precisely specify the behavioral model detailing the functional and control flows. Core Sim, an automatically generated dynamic verification simulator, can help identify flaws early in the development cycle, thereby reducing overall project cost. This video is a brief orientation to CoreSim. For more complete information, reference the CoreSim User Guide found under the Help menu. As we get started, it's important to understand exactly what CoreSim is simulating. The complete definition of the behavior model as represented in your behavioral views. Only classes that represent the transformation or handling of objects or data can be simulated. This includes function, program activity, test activity, and operational activity. Remember that in Core, all behavior views are rendered based upon data in the underlying model. From that perspective, one could say that you can simulate any behavior view. While that is true, the EFFBD is the most complete behavior view when it comes to information used in simulation. If you generally model from a different view, be sure to check back at your EFFBD from time to time for reference. To open the simulator window, first select the element you want to simulate, then click Tools, Simulator, or select the Simulator button from the toolbar. This is the simulator display window. Only one of these windows per element can be open at a time. Multiple simulator display windows can be open as long as they are on different elements. The middle of this window, the timeline, is blank right now because we haven't run the simulation yet. Let's do that. Click the Run icon. Once a simulation completes successfully, you will get a message stating Simulation Completed. Click OK. At the top section of the window, below the toolbars, is General Information. Scale control will allow you to display more or less information on the timeline. Time indicates the duration of the simulation, and the result detail will give you specific information based on what you have selected from the timeline. In the left side pane, we can see a list of elements as they are encountered during execution. These include behavior being performed, resources that are utilized, triggering items, and links. You can control which element classes are shown through the user preferences. On the right side, we see the timeline that details when each function was performed. For functions, this details when each function was performed and how long it took to perform. For resources, items, and links, it tells the number of each available. When viewing the timeline, you will see different colored bars. For more information on what these colors mean, see Section 1.3 of the Core Sim Guide. You can save a completed timeline as a graphical file outside of Core using the File Save Diagram As command. The transcript window logs the events as they occur with a host of information about each event, including a timestamp. The transcript can be saved as a CSV file for use in different tools using the File Save Transcript As command. This provides a basis for understanding the detailed execution of the behavior model. To run the simulation again, click the Reset button, then Run. Let's switch to another element and view its simulation. If the simulation cannot complete due to some error in the underlying model, you might end up with a detailed message. Notice the Blocking Events dialog. If you get one of these, you'll want to spend time examining what this window is telling you. You can always print or save the information as a text file to work on the issues without keeping the window open. Common possibilities of model errors are if a function fails to receive its trigger or doesn't have enough resources. You can also slow down execution into individual steps by using the Step button to walk through each step of the simulation at a time. This concludes the basics of simulating in Core. To learn more about using Core, go back to our screencast page and view the rest of the Getting Started collection.